Hey, welcome back guys. So let's create our users manager properly here. So this is our view file and we want to grab what's here. We want to create a table here to see a list of users because this is a users manager. It should be able to do that. So we'll come back to users manager plugin. Everything seems fine here. Let's go to views and let's go inside view here. So I want to remove all of this. Now, since we know the framework comes with Bootstrap, we can use Bootstrap. Or if you added a different library, you can follow uh, whatever classes you need to follow in order to do that. Or what you could do is add Bootstrap uh, styles directly in your CSS folder here. And then you can include them just like this. You can just change that to bootstrap.min.css and you have bootstrap loaded. It's a good idea to have it in your local um, thingy here so that once you copy the plugin to another uh, version of this that doesn't use bootstrap, you still have bootstrap loaded there. But in our case, because we're using the base and default, we're going to leave it like this because this is easy to add a line of bootstrap if you move it to a project where there isn't bootstrap at all. So I'm just going to remove everything here and let me add a table like so. So I'm going to do this. Let me add some classes. So this is our view file in users manager. I'm going to add a class of table and I want each to be table uh, striped and also table mm, bordered like that. Now tables sometimes tend to go over the screen or to the edge of the screen or sometimes are bigger than the screen, especially in responsive mode. So this is why Bootstrap has a class called table responsive. So you put your table within that div and what that does is it creates a scroll bar when the table can't fit anymore. So let's leave it at that. Now let's create a table row. Is it a row? Yes. And table header here where we put some column names here. So we'll start with first name and then we will go to last name. And then here we will put a image. We're just following those um, columns that exist in the users table uh, and date created. You could put date updated as well, something like that. And then we may want user rows as well. So let me duplicate this uh, rows. Okay, something like that. Uh, we also might need gender here. So maybe let's move image over there like that. And then finally we would put the action here. Now, usually this action, I don't want to waste the space by putting action there. I usually put a button saying add new or something like that. Okay. Then I want to add a an icon here. So this one is FA. Okay, just a second. If I go here and I want to search for new, what do I get? So I want the plus here. That's an easy way to show that you're creating something new. Is it FA solid as well? FA solid, FA plus. Okay, so FA dash solid and then FA, sorry that, FA plus. Let's put some classes as well on the button itself. So it's button and button primary. Oh, it's button BD primary. What's that? Let me try it. I haven't seen that. Oh, okay. I kind of like it. I do like it. 
Okay, but things are getting out of control here. What's happening? Uh, it should be in here and not where it is. Also, I want this button to be small. So I'll use the button small here and let me just do this so we can clearly see what's going on. And so I will duplicate this table row, change the TH to TD, table data. And we will have some buttons here like edit and let me refresh and there it is so we have uh, something nice going on there let me go back and click edit let me see what icon I can use here this is the most common yes pen to square huh pen to square how about this one? Oh, FA regular. Pen to square. So I'll leave it on pen solid. Let's just on FA solid. Pen to square like that. Okay. I want the color to be different. So I'm going to say text. Um, no, actually, let's use the button here. Instead of primary, we're going to say warning. Okay. I guess there's no BD warning. Alrighty then, there it is. Okay, so this thing is going overboard here and I don't know why. We need to have this go all the way to the bottom and it doesn't seem like it's doing that. So this should be the fault of the um, admin plugin. So let's go to views in the admin plugin here and do some correction, I guess. So let's see. Uh -huh. These are SVGs, container fluid. So I'm looking for the part where we have, okay, so there's main page. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, there's a div here. Column 10. Huh. This should be working automatically. We shouldn't have to deal with CSS. So let's see, there's a row here. Okay, that seems about right. Column nine. Uh, this one is column three. Okay. All right, so that, that kind of works. But what is going on here? Main. Hmm. Okay, maybe let's put this inside a div. Let's see if that uh, solves the problem. like so no it doesn't okay so this should go to full height i don't know why it wasn't designed like that already these are the links here so i'm guessing this part here is the minimum part of it that's the sidebar so what i'm going to do is just add some styles here so i'm just going to say style and say minimum height for this one should be 100 VH, like that. Let's make it go, yeah, something like that. Okay, so now that we've done that, it's gone down here. So which means it's not the fault of this part that this is happening here. Okay, so let me, I'll leave it for now, like that. So the real reason this is happening, we have the thing down here is because the plugins are being loaded separately so the admin plugin is being loaded here but then even though uh, and then the users manager is being loaded separately down here so what we need to do is actually use the hook here so this explains why you could have issues like this if you don't follow the hook system to actually call the function on the right hook that you want 
so this loads right when we when we have the correct url right if we go to dashboard here nothing loads if we go to users it does load but it just loads on the wrong place so in order to correct that we need to use the correct hook where we want so in this case this is the hook right here main content so that's uh, basic admin main content so let me copy this and i'm going to go to the users manager plugin so in the plugin itself we have this part that says view and this is the part that displays our view but we should change this instead of on the view we'll put it on main content but let's use basic dash admin because that's the plugin we are targeting so this should actually solve the problem so if i now refresh you see that our table is within the boundaries that we have actually set so great so far so good let me put a delete button there and then we can call it a day for this episode so i'm going to come back here uh, view users manager and this one right here i will duplicate like so and let me put a delete over there like that and let's change this one to danger like so okay so let me refresh and there we go all right so things are looking good now in the next video we're going to look at how to add a new user make these buttons workable let's click here to make sure that it works as intended all right guys so i'll see you in the next video